Hello, I'm Ralph Shuck. I'm the software manager for Victolic Tools for Revit. Today I want to talk to you about an important update in the way settings are going to be managed and shared within Victolic Tools for Revit. In the past, we had a TXT file that we could export and import within Victolic Tools for Revit. Moving forward, we have our new Victolic Cloud Storage, which includes our Victolic Cloud settings, and this will enable you to save all your settings within Victolic Tools for Revit up to the cloud and share it to your entire team. One thing though that we are recommending customers do, if you do have very specific company settings within Victolic Tools, make sure you go through and record any of those settings because you will have to recreate those on Victolic Cloud Storage. To show you how it works, I'm going to close out of this window. We have the ability to access the settings within the toolbar settings in the ribbon or within the settings within the assembly manager or package manager. So if I click on toolbar settings, you can see here at the bottom where we used to see the import and export settings to the TXT files, now we have a manage cloud settings button. As I go across, you'll see that there's an export settings button for the delete pipe settings and what this button will do is export all the settings within this tab. If I come over to the assembly view settings you're going to see there there's no button, button to export the settings but what you will see is under actions you'll see the ability to import and save settings to Victolic cloud storage. So the same will fall true for our package settings so you'll see here import and save when I go to the other settings, you'll see that there's a specific button just to export that tab. So you can export all the settings like you did in the past by using the, the Manage Cloud Settings button down here on the bottom left. Or if you want to export individual tabs within this menu, you can utilize the export settings right here. So what we want to focus on today is the assembly views and settings. We're going to click on uh, the manage cloud settings right here. You can see when I'm in the cloud settings I have the option down here at the bottom left to export the full toolbar settings. So this would be the same as the TXT export but instead of saving it out to a file now you're saving it up to our cloud storage location. So in this case I'm going to click on the export full toolbar settings and for the setting export name, I'm going to call it my company settings. Now you can see that new setting is shown in the dialog. Here I can see that it's never been loaded and there are no shares for that setting. If I want to share that setting to the rest of my group, the rest of my organization, I can do that. I can just click on the share button. Inside here I have the option to share it to an email or a domain. So I could say user at mycompany.com. So what this effect would do is most companies have a specific user at mycompany.com, let's say, for all the toolbar licenses to be registered to. But some companies have multiple users, multiple registered user accounts within Victolic Tools for Revit. If, you're one of, if you have that and you have specific groups within your company that use different license pools, what you can do is you can actually share it out to the entire domain and then everybody has access. So if I go to just type in at mycompany.com now what that effectively will do is share it out to everybody in my organization. So I can click close and you can see here that there are two shares and zero loads. What's nice about the cloud storage is that what, we'll, what we do is we show some statistics so you can see how many settings are being used. If I switch over and go into uh, project mentor templates well, you'll see inside our Victolic VDC group, you can see which different templates are being used and which ones aren't. 
So we actually have been using Victaulic cloud storage now for quite some time, and our project mentor rules have, have been pulled from that quite a lot of times throughout the last few months. I can go back to the full settings, and I can still see my, my full settings here. I can also see the default Vic VTFR settings, and I can load or unshare those as well. I'm going to click OK. So now let's say I want to customize my spool settings. So in this case, I want to take the Victaulic standard template and I'm going to get rid of the right elevation view. If I want to save those settings up to cloud storage, what I can do is I can go to Actions, Save Template to Victaulic Cloud Storage. By clicking that, my settings are instantly saved. So if I go to Manage Cloud Settings, and I come in under the type, I can look at the spool templates. And right here you can see Victaulic standard template and the date and time. And then just like before, if I want to share that, I can share it as well. So one of the other changes within this next build of Victaulic tools for Revit is if you come in to the three dots. One thing you'll see here under enable tagging is the ability to select a tag template. What this will allow you to do is to set the specific tags that are placed on your assemblies or on your package views during creation. So in here you can see I have spooling tags as an option, I have typical tags as an option, and package tags as an option. So within spooling tags, I can click on the three dots. And when I do that, what it does is it opens the custom tagging settings window. So inside here, you can see at the top we have different templates, one for the spool tags, typical tags, and package tags that match the previous menu. So being in the spooling tags, I can come in here and, and set and specify different tags. Now one thing to keep in mind as always with the category that you have on the left like if I want to set a duct tag I would make want to make sure that I'm in a duct tag here as well. So now I can set those up specifically for my spooling. I can click OK. And then what I can also do is make sure that this is set to the tag template of spooling tags. So now that clarifies and connects the, the specific tags and shows you how the tags are going to be applied per each individual spool template within the software. So we're hopeful that this makes it a lot easier for people to understand how that connection was and is and enables you to better get the correct tags on your spools automatically through the software. Now that I've made those changes, what I can do is I can go up under Actions. I can save template to Cloud Storage again. And in this case, it tells me that the name of that template already exists, and that's fine. I can just overwrite it by clicking Yes. And now you can see that my settings have been saved up to Cloud Storage. Another thing to keep in mind, too, is that as you save your settings to Cloud Storage, in this case, I'm in Revit 2022. Um, those settings would be available for all the versions of Victaulic tools for Revit within all the different versions of Revit. Just to show you how some of the other settings work, I'll click OK. A, an area of the toolbar that we utilize a lot here at Victaulic is our Project Mentor tool. Setting a Project Mentor can be pretty involved, so it's important that you have your templates and your settings instantly available to you. Here at Victaulic, we've, we have quite a lot of settings and views in here to create. So what I can do is import from cloud storage. I can import the fabrication rules that I developed in a previous version of the toolbar by clicking load and then load again. So now both of those have been loaded in. So now I should see a group of five for fabrication parts filter and a group of nine for fabrication parts rules. So let's take a look to see if they're there. Uh, I, if I come in here, you'll see they're not there, but if I click on the refresh button, 
and then back in here you'll see my fabrication part filters group 5 and group 9 have now been added so it's never been easier to add settings to Victolic tools for Revit and to share those throughout your entire organization and make them instantly available. We're hopeful that this new feature enables our customers to utilize and, and set up their projects faster and easier. And I appreciate your time today. Thank you.